you're watching Chewing the Cut with Lee Robertson and my opinion room. I said hot pants, hot pants with my cankles. I don't think so. Full coverage on nothing. How are you, Mike? I'm all right, thank you. What have you, what have you got for us today in your, in your little buzz section? In your little buzz? In my little buzz? Right, in my little buzz, I've got an interesting story about an unusual place to stay. Oh, Ooh. a coffin. No. Yes. Usual place. Okay. Not a place you sleep. On screen now, you can see our contact info. It's at the Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us, the TV for our website, and on YouTube or a podcast service, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as names go across the bottom of the screen, we brace ourselves for this week's showbiz with Lee. <laughs> I have some movie news. Movie news? Movie news. Movie. It's, not, it's not coming out until next year, but they're filming it now. Ooh. So, there is going to be a film, a real-life action person film, <laughs> human film, of everybody's favourite doll, Barbie. Oh, yay. Yay, but do you know what? It's got Ryan Gosling in it as Ken. Okay. So it's a smooth area. Smooth. Margot Robbie is going to be Barbie. Okay, cool. Ryan Gosling is going to play Ken. We've got this is this is Margot Robbie here as Barbie. Mm -hmm. They have released pictures of Ryan Gosling as Ken. Okay. Mm, what do you think? You see, it's very stylized because obviously Ken is a massive homosexual. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? Really? You don't think? No, he, has, he doesn't have a penis. No. Um, yeah, so he's he's bleached his hair, shaved his, his minge, um, <laughs> <laughs> shaved his face, waxed his, waxed his face, <laughs> got a tan, so he's now Ken. Um, yeah. See, I'm a fan of Ryan Gosling, as an aesthetic as well. Aesthetically. As yeah. Uh, that's not doing it for me. Is it not doing it for you? I don't know what. See, they've not given it a lot away about the actual content of the it's film. Probably not much to give away. Because um, now it's either going to be really ironic, sort of like piss take, or it's going to be a bit saccharine. I kind of think it's going to be more of like a sort of sarcastic, cynical take. I on, think it's probably going to be one of on, those American movies yeah. that was like, like going, "Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god!" Well, oh my what god. what Margot Robbie has said is that the film's goal is to is to subvert expectations. So she's saying we've like we've tried to do things a little left of the center, something kind of like so. Obviously, people go Barbie. Barbie is like oh, pretty girl doll, you know what kind of thing. She says, "Whatever you're thinking, you're going to have to think something totally different." So Perhaps she's she's going to strap on. So she's I don't be, know. So she's going to be fat. She's going to be fat? No, she's not she's going, going to be, be fat. fat. No. This is them filming together, um, obviously, in the, the Barbie cowboy look. Um, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, th th people are quite excited about that. Are they? By uh, people, do you mean you? I, I, I don't know whether I could be bothered with that. <laughs> I, um, you know, I do, I do have a couple of, of Barbies myself. That, that are <laughs> only a couple. <laughs> that are, that are the, your collector items, you know, those uh -huh. kind of ones. Um, are they still in their boxes? So they're toys. If you, <laughs> they're on stands on the shelf. Right. If you take them out of a box, they're no longer a collector's item. Yeah, a but toy. but they they'll die if you don't, if you take them out of the box. Their soul will not live. You see how you, you, to be... you're giving them a soul in your it's imagination. But they're supposed That's to be play. <laughs> anyway, so bit of news about Graham Norton now. Okay. So he's so he is responding to the um, criticism that people are saying online about Drag Race and the amount of different sort of, you know, there's different episodes, different series, different kinds of, of drag race. Okay. So we've got like Queens of the Universe, we've got All Stars, mm -hmm. we've got the regular series, we've got different countries, we've got ones where drag queens perform operations on terminally ill people, that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So he's kind of like been saying, uh, he, he basically said, I can't really argue with it. <laughs> So here he is. He is one of the judges on um, Queen of the Universe, mm -hmm. which had its first series earlier this year. I did watch it. It was okay. It, watch it. I'm it was basically drag queens singing live okay. from all around the world. And um, to be fair, it was okay. It was okay. I was be knowing more for the judge on UK Drag Race. Um, but what he's saying is, this, is when, when they're like talking to him about Drag Race fatigue, mm -hmm. he's kind of like said... Yeah, I kind of like to see the point. Yeah. Um, but he's kind of like saying it's not going to go away. It's not not no, not, it's not. not going. I don't think it should go. Um, but I would just like it to just just 
turn back the dial a little bit. We've been at ten for a long time. <sighs> I'd like just to drop it down to maybe a four. Make us one. Make us. Make us be excited for a new series to go. Oh, can't wait for that series. And put them on one place. Stop putting them on different streaming channels that people have to sign up for. It's just a little. So Michelle Visage, in January this year, she said, I don't think there's ever going to be enough. And she said, people, <laughs> people should be stop, stop being short-sighted, reminding that it's taken so long to get shows like this on the telly. Mm -hmm. uh, which I completely get completely. that, and I completely and I think understand we should have that. A, a continual um, queer representation on TV for all different art forms, 100%. Do I really need season 52? Of people that passed by the Drag Race studio once? Come on, let's do. Well, what he's saying is that he's tried to watch every incarnation of Drag Race, oh, but God. gets confused into which queens or which series. Left to my own devices, I probably would watch them all. Now I just watch the UK and All Stars and the American one. He says, um, addressing what um, Miss Alvisage says, um, he kind of because Mister, there's this is dialogue going on at the moment, isn't there about? Uh, pride and drag race and drag shows don't take children to them. Don't take children to in America. To, yeah, in America yeah, yeah. to so, to, to so drag race country, stories. A country that says you can walk around with a gun. Yes. Yeah. You can't have an abortion or watch a drag race show. No. And I'm if sorry. your children go, they'll turn gay. Um, so what he's saying is the wheels turn and then they turn back again. Yeah. So I think in the UK it's a different situation in that we don't have the same puritanical streak. Very apt. Uh. There's always been some mainstream representation of drag in this country, like Panto, and I can't see it vanishing in in any way, shape, or form. Celebrity, we've, I've got a, I've got a, I've got a beauty tip to reveal to share with you. Spunk. No, nope, it's not spunk. So if you watch any of these kind Is of days, mashed Swede. Mashed Swede. Mashed Swede. Yeah, no. Pop it on your face. Sometimes use it as draft excluder. Is that a weird sort of geeky reference to something? Yeah, it is. It is. What There's is lots it? of people up and down the country going, I love Kitty. Oh, is it from Victoria Ward? I've seen on TV. Okay. Kitty. Yeah. Either that or Doctor Who. It's one of the two. Um, so if you watch any of these kind of like daytime re reality TV show things mm -hmm. um, and, and, and they're all looking very fresh faced, there's a secret. So celebrities. <laughs> Airbrushing. Airbrushing and <laughs> plastic surgery. But in between yeah. that. Big bald clip at the back of your head. That's what I've got, yeah. Um, they, celebrities use these gel patches that they put under their eyes okay. that apparently instantly firm, lift, depuff, and hydrate the skin around your eyes. It's not just for the it's not just for the ladies though. Okay. I've got a picture of Will Smith. Just before he slapped that bloke in the face. No, getting his hand ready. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Get your <laughs> whole name out my mouth. What? <laughs> getting his slapping hand ready. Yeah. Um, and, and his eyes to, to I soak always up get that tears. quote wrong. I can never remember it. Is it get your whole name out my wife's mouth? Get, don't you, don't put my f***ing wife's name in your whole mouth. You just use the word whole, I just like adding that in. <laughs> it sounds better, that's a better insult. Get your name out of my whole wife, wife's mouth. I can't do it right ever. Get your cock out of my whole wife's mouth. That well, kind of stuff. Yeah. So, we, so, so the celebrities, they go... Put it in their ass where it belongs, I don't know. <laughs> it came in my head, I had to say it, I'm sorry. Celebrities, they go for these 24 karat gold... Um, I'm, I'm moving on with this. Um, 75 quid for a small pot of these. But uh, if you go to B&M Bargains... Other shops are available. One ninety nine. OK. You want to try them? Go on, then. Thanks. So what you do is... I have used these in my... Have you used these? I have right? used these in the past. I, I, I know that some people use their glasses to hold them on, don't they, Lee? That you, well, yeah. The, and if you really want to up the game, put them you in. Want the, up the what? Up your game. <laughs> <laughs> you can put them this. in the fridge. It's not open. Oh. Help me, help me. Oh, it's stiff, isn't it? Oh, what's this? See? Help me, help me. I'll just use these ones, it's fine. Oh, you've. Oh, I, I don't, don't want the ones you've got as your gaping more around. <laughs> <laughs> They're still sealed. <laughs> well, covered, didn't you? <laughs> Covered in your whole mouth. Get my patches out of your <laughs> dirty whole mouth. I can't get into these, so you might have to pop them on. Okay. If you put them in the fridge, oh, I can't get into. Oh, la, 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 la. So I just put them under my just eyes. Just put them under your under your eye, each eye. Oh. 
Did he feel cooling? Did he feel relaxed? I can't get into it, literally. See what I do when they're at home and I finish with them, yeah? I like to put them on the window and then they, they shrivel up and dry and they look a little bit like slugs. Okay, then what do you do with them? Huh? Is that it? Is that all you do with put them? Put them in the bin afterwards. Okay. Well, there you go. Unfortunately, I cannot get into mine, so I so uh, I'm, I'm going to remain. Oh, oh. But I do use these quite regularly. I like this. So, so you spent one ninety nine on these, and you can only use fifty percent of the pack. Uh, well, if I was at home, I would snip it open with a pair of scissors, but I don't have a pair of scissors. Oh. I sometimes will wear them on my journey to my first destination. You've damaged them. I know. They've been too rough. You've... Sad times. They're very, they're very way over time now, Mike. Um, so there you go. Top tips and celebrity guff. Okay. That's the end of this week's showbiz news. Thank you very much for your tip there, Lee. Something I didn't think I'd be ever saying. Thank you for that, Mike. Some people will be grateful of my tip. Stick around. <laughs> As next, it's Mike with the buzz. <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Cod with Lee and Mike. Now let's have Mike bring us the buzz. Do you use Airbnb often, Lee? I do, actually. Yeah. How, uh, how successful are you with your Airbnb? I, I've never had a disappointing Airbnb. Have you not? Once. Oh, what happened? Edinburgh went for the fringe. <laughs> stayed for the dick. Stayed for the fringe. <laughs> <laughs> went for the, the fringe, fringe, stayed with the dick. Um, um, and I was <laughs> three nights in one place, but couldn't book four nights because because they were they booked to do other people. So I booked one extra night uh -huh. in another Airbnb just just for the evening. Couldn't find it. And the person whose Airbnb because it was basically a room in their flat mm -hmm. hadn't put a phone number, only email. So um, I was like wandering for hours trying to find it, and in the end, gave up and went and spent three hundred pounds on a hotel. So it was a well worth it. Uh, did you get your money back? I didn't know. Ah, oh, it's a shame for you, isn't it? Um, well, imagine imagine spending one and a half thousand dollars for one night in an Airbnb. Really? Mm -hmm. That's crazy talk. It's crazy. Um, it's actually in a shop window display. What? So. Um, the online listing was supposed to serve as a joke as part of International Heart Art Basel Fair in Switzerland. Okay. However, um, it went unexpected because someone went, oh, I'll book that. And oh. so I literally stayed in the shop window. Overnight, overnight. for a £1,000. Well, £1,000, yeah. Oh, well done then. Yeah. Um, so a member of the team um, said that the whole thing was a marketing gimmick. We didn't think that someone would actually book to stay in the shop window because we said it was a shop window. Mm. Right, and someone went, yeah, yeah, yeah. It originally listed at three and a half thousand pounds. Um, so they just they she... just stayed there overnight, just for a night, yeah, in the window, in the window, and they went home the day after. Yeah, I would think, you know, to be fair, mm -hmm. if it's like a department store, yeah, mannequin fantasies. Not in a, not in a, ooh, <laughs> not, like, can I just, can I just clarify what I've just said? I no, don't, no, no, you no, can't. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 I don't mean, putting the outfits I don't mean on, you're going to f***ing, I don't yeah. mean <laughs> shop dummies, I meant the film mannequin from the 80s, that kind of, yeah, I don't mean that, but then, mm, if they're sexy, mm, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to say, show me on the dolly where the man touched you. Why are all the groins on these shop dummies all rancidly chafed? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, because so, it was originally a... I'm sorry, I can't. I've just got this image of you going, hello, mannequin. <laughs> I like your stiff nature. Um, <laughs> I'm looking for the hand models that do that. Don't ask why. <laughs> Oh, memories. Um, yeah. So, got so any mannequins that are holding an apple. Uh, <laughs> so, when it originally went on, it wasn't planned for anyone to stay there. So she booked it and they went, oh shit. So they then had to put like, follow a bed through. in and they had to follow through. Okay. Right. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it had its own TV. Uh, so it had all mid, like modern furniture in it. They they really made it n nice and habitable. 
The only difference is there was no privacy because it's in the big shop window. Big shop window. Where did she go for uh, for a wee? In the bucket. Doesn't say. Doesn't say. What well, it's a it's a bit. Did they get what did they what did they do with the money? Did they keep it or did they yeah, give it to charity? Spend it on I don't know porn. I don't know. Spend their baby. New mannequins. <laughs> no, once again, it was you living off mannequins. Sexy fantasy. mannequins. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's you could have stayed in the Airbnb that's a shop window. Well, somebody's got more money than sense, haven't they? They have indeed. Um, but talking about things which, which have not got any sense attached to them, mm -hmm. children's sports days. Don't get them. Don't understand Do you, don't, them. you don't get them? So I have, They're as old as time, Mike. I have memories of doing them. Yes. Right, and having like my family watch me fail at sport. Okay. Right, instead of just normally on a Friday afternoon failing at sport yes. with my classmates. Fail at sport with a crowd. With everybody you yeah. know. Well, the whole school and your family watch. Yeah. Oh, you can't balance an egg on a spoon. <laughs> that's, that's more about you though, isn't it? Not really. I don't, get, I don't get why they exist. They exist because it is. it teaches children about sportsmanship. Which you play sport every a week anyway. Achievement. If you achieve anything. Taking part and not necessarily winning. Which is the vast majority of people. Um, and, you know, a bit of like having your parents there being proud of you. Do you think my parents were proud of me? I've never met your parents, Mike. I mean, I'm judging not in general. Um... Exactly. <laughs> and I'm not the one wearing that top. Too shy. Although, to be fair, my 65 year old lesbian parents probably would like your top. Well, yes. Well, and I've that's where you got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, this is about a single mum who had an accident at Sports Day because Dirty apparently they, they make. Um, Parents join in now. Yeah, they do. Or they, yeah, it depends, though. Yeah. Um, well, she, she, Katie from Basildon in Essex okay. um, was running in a parents' race and tripped and went over and her backside showed to the world. Oh, a, a bear bum. A bear bum. A bear bum. A bear bum. Yeah, so mooned. she mooned. Um, the incident was caught on camera and shared all over the internet, oh. mainly by men, surprisingly. Oh. Shocker. Yeah. Um, the 36-year-old says she's been recognised in local Tesco, which makes me wonder how she's going so shopping. Down with, with her pants down. down That's right, going, do you remember me? Ooh. Um, so I go around and her, so. Um, she doesn't look disappointed there. She looks quite happy. She looks quite happy, yeah. She's had over 500 messages from men alone, calling her a MILF. Right. Is she is she married? Is she is she a, a, is she open to these? She's single. She's people, single and ready people to asking, mingle. People, I well, don't say she's ready to mingle. It doesn't say if she's, she's mingled, ready to mingle. But she's like she's having people say, "Oh, how are you still single?" It's like oh. with your big fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> I think they call it a bedunk. Dunk, <laughs> with your lily white ass. Um, <laughs> that was worse. Oh dear. So she thought something was on her face when people started staring at her in Tesco. <laughs> in Tesco. <laughs> because of the way that they, they stared at her, right? She was, was not happy. Not happy. No. Right. Put your fat ass away then. It's, um, <laughs> it, do you know, it's a really unfortunate thing. It's a horrible thing because it can happen to anybody, that kind of stuff. Well, there's, there's been a, a thing coming out that she's basically come out with a new phrase, which is don't be a Karen, be a Katie. Um. Yeah, that's no. what people come out. Yeah. Um, she's had people send messages. It's always men sending cock shots oh, as well. Oh! Yeah, always men sending dick pics. You never have a woman sending a dick pic. <laughs> and if you want to send us it, don't. Um, it's us at the Cud TV on social media. And that brings us to our story of the week. Lots of alternative relationships out there. Oh, God, it's not about animals again, <laughs> It's is not it? about animals. King gay penguins or it's stuff not. like that. It's not. Okay. Leave the gay penguins alone. They've done nothing to you. Absolutely nothing. And you just rant on about them all the time. Gay penguins, this, and gay penguins. Oh, I'm a gay penguin. Get rid of them. What's the point? <laughs> that's that's a, a snapshot. Um, no, this is about a woman who's married a ragdoll who has now given birth to a child. My, it was, my interest <laughs> was peaked with marrying a ragdoll. I am a fan of the, you know, the inanimate. Uh so who's who's who who's it's her child what the living <laughs> christ so is that <laughs> did she did she make that did she make the father so <laughs> Mirivone, which is her name okay right who's 37 
um, complained to her mum that she'd been single and wanted someone to dance with. So she got a needle and thread out and made um, her husband Marcello. They fell in love and then she fell pregnant. She fell pregnant um, and claimed put on four pounds during a pregnancy. Which is easy done when you're just living off, off cheeseburgers off. and Haribo. Um, and stuffing. She didn't want to give birth out of wedlock. Oh, no. So she got married to her ragdoll husband. Did she? Fiancé, yeah. So that um, basically she, was, she wasn't she was like a single mum. She was married. Mm -hmm. um, and they went on a honeymoon to Rio de Janeiro. Wow. Did she just pack him in a suitcase? Did she buy? A, did she buy? Oh my God! She bought a seat on the plane. <sighs> so she gave birth to her new ragdoll after a thirty-five-minute labour at home. A doctor and nurse were present. No, they weren't. <laughs> and she said it was surprisingly pain-free. What is the matter with the world? <laughs> She's giving it a fucking unibrow. <laughs> you can tell it's a dad's thing, can't you? Oh my, why is, does he not have any clothes on? He hasn't got a penis, Mike. How did it happen? Apparently her husband is faithful. Um, he's clean after a 360 wash. <laughs> Apparently all women are envious of him. Are they? Yes. All women. I'm all jealous. Women. I, I... Um, she said the wedding was a wonderful day. Mm. Yeah. Um, and they had a great, great time. It's true that he got her pregnant because he didn't take care of himself and didn't use a condom. Could have just, I was about to say, could have, they just beat me to it in the gallery and use a sock. And yeah. that would have, that would have, that would have, yeah. Yeah, but apparently he was there at the birth. Really upset when people say it's a fake. Where is she from? Fake. We don't know where he's from. It, we don't know where, where she's from. Oh, my goodness. But not on this planet. Um, that's all from the buzz this week. Thank you for that. And I hope you respect my marriage to my pillow. Yeah, of course. And coming up next, we have our game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week, we are playing Lazy Susan's musical roulette. And this one is for her very own Michael Benny and Roe, which she doesn't like me saying that. I'm going to die later. Anyway, off you go. Not her first name, is it? Michael James. Michael James. Which you um, very well know. Game of the Week. So, Mike, you've got your Lazy Susan prepared. Are you ready to start the game? I am. She's swinging in ready. Go for it. Ooh, pop music. Popular music. So. Oh. Who asks you to shake it like a Polaroid picture? Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture. Oh my god. Uh hey. Outcast. Who in Outcast? Um Andre three is it Andre three thousand or Andre? It is indeed, well done. Oh, oh it'll be your favourite now. Rock music. Pop music again. Rock music. Rock music. In 2004, Las Vegas based alternative rock band The Killers released their album, their successful debut album. What's it called? Um, the Killers. No, it was called Hot Fuzz. Oh. Uh, he's quite fit, the lead singer of The Killers. He is. What's he called? The lead singer of the killers. <laughs> um, Brendan. Brendan Fraser, no. Brendan Fraser, Brendan Colleone, that's not even a person. I don't know. Let's see what's next. Ooh, pop music again. Oh my goodness. I played with your heart, got lost in a game, oh baby, baby. Name the song. Baby, baby. Oops, I did it again. Do, 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 do. Bye. By Britney Spears. Well done. Yee! Also, well done. I got Julie Nino. He knows how. Next one is the 80s. 
Oh. Now, you might not be able to get this one because you were working four. at the time. Which of these three tracks gave Michael Jackson his first UK number one? Billie Jean, One Day in Your Life, or Beat It? Oh. <laughs> She's just a man. Meh, I'm going to go with Billie Jean because I think that was like the first kind of big hit that he had in this country. He had other hits, but I think this is. But the kid is not my son. It's wrong. Oh. One day in your life. Oh. One day in your life. Bee Gees. I've just put it a different direction to see if I get a different one. Ooh, soundtracks. Feels Kiss from a Rose featured in which 1995 film? I remember the song. Yeah. Kiss <laughs> from a Rose on the I have a feeling it was from. Now that your rosebud's in bloom. Your rosebud's in bloom. <laughs> <laughs> um, my my, <laughs> sounds my face a hits film. the doom. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think it was from Batman. Which one? Oh, the Batman that had Michael Keaton in it. Which one? Batman. Batman Returns. Oh. Oh, did I get it right? Yeah, you did. Woo! <laughs> We're talking about Batman at work the other day. About the one with um, Chris O'Donnell in it. Okay, he played Robin, didn't he? He played Robin, and how he has aged horribly. Has he? He has. He aged like an old potato. No, it's just aged horribly. Rock music again. What is Alice Cooper's real name? I don't know. That's wrong. Um, Franklin Weiner. Oh, very close. Is it? Very close. Not close at all. Not close at all. <laughs> it's Vincent Damon Furrier. Oh. Ooh. Vincent Dahlia Furmier. Damien. 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 Furnier. Furnier. Perfect. Ooh, 80s. Leaving for Maui. Hurts so good, and thanks, I needed that. Are all songs from which band? What were the songs again? Leaving for Maui. Leading, leaving for Maui. Hurts so good, and thanks, I needed that. 80s? Yes. Don't know. I'll say the Beach Boys. No. Oh. Gonna kick yourself. Am I? Do 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 booby do 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 do. No. Foot loose. Any logins? Foot loose. Any logins? Any logins and foot loose. No. Foot loose. What are you saying? What are you saying? <laughs> I'm that? saying the words foot loose. The answer to the question was foot loose. There's a band called Footloose? Yes. Were they from the film? <laughs> there was a band called Footloose? Yes. Why are you saying that? In the 80s. You're saying those words. <laughs> oh, look. Soundtracks. Who arranged and composed the track on, these, on days like these for the 1969 film The Italian Job? Dunno. Simon and Garfunkel. Quincy Jones. I'd have thought you'd got that. No. You know, 1969 being an important year for you. Because you were 20. All right, let's go again. Oh, look, soundtracks again. You're cheating. No idea what you're talking about, Lee. Which 1968 film featured the music of Simon and Garfunkel? Oh, I know this one. Go on. Du, 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 Mrs. Robinson. People nope. think that you're a big slut. That one, Mrs. Robinson. No, 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 no. Uh, no, 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 no. It's no, too late. It's, it's too late. You not, said Mrs. Robinson it's and it's not. the graduate. And you that said was Mrs. the song Robinson. out of it. It was the graduate. <laughs> no, it's too late. You said it, it was, was the graduate. Robinson. I win a pie. Woo! No. 
Nope, because you realised your mistake just <laughs> after you've given the answer. And I have to accept your first answer, sorry. But I still got it right. Still got it right. Right. <laughs> Pictures, perhaps it's from the gallery. Oh, 80s. Aero Smith released Walk This Way. With which hip hop act? Oh, I know this. Walk this way. Walk this way. It was, it was Run DMC. Because I is down with the hip hop community. <laughs> From the I couldn't even say that without laughing. Yeah. No, you can't do anything with a straight face. But it was right, Run DMC. Yes. I enjoyed the version with Girls Aloud and Sugar Babes. I thought you would. Right. <laughs> what music? Released in 2010, can you name The Strokes' debut album? No. I don't know. Vinegar Strokes. By The Strokes. <laughs> no idea. Don't know who they are. This is it. This is it. This yeah. is it. I was coming. <laughs> <laughs> this time I know it's the real thing. Who sang that song? Danny Minogue sang that. Oh, okay. She covered it. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, original. Who sang it originally? I don't know. Okay. Somebody. Oh, look. Soundtracks again. Which 1986 film starring Jeremy Irons? Jeremy Irons. I like saying his name. Featured music... Composed by Ennio Macrione. Which what? Featured music composed by Ennio Macrione. Eight. Morricone. Yeah, 1986. Oh, was it? Chariots of Fire. No, it was The Mission. Oh, I've never seen it. No. One more. I'm not going to stop it this time. Look, 80s. Frank Zappa sang Valley Girl with the help of his daughter. What is her real name? Rocket, Moon, Rainbow, Venus. You added the penis. I said Venus. Oh, Venus, but you said penis. <laughs> penis Zappa. <laughs> that's a good name. That would be, <laughs> that's an awesome That's a drag name, name that. Penis Zappa, um, Lady Penis Zappa. Um, <laughs> he gave them all. <laughs> He gave them all really weird names. Yes, so which out of the which, four? What, so I've just say read them again. I'm sorry I got carried away with penis after. <laughs> Rocket, Moon, Rainbow, Venus. I think it was Moon. Are you sure? Moon. You're going for Moon, are yeah. you definitely sure? Yeah. Oh. What was the one you found hilarious? Venus. Which you thought was Venus. actually Venus. Oh. You called her Moon though. Well, that's all for go. <laughs> That's it. Oh, no. oh, yes, after this quick break, it's that science that is. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now, it's that part of the show that we call that science that is. Shabba. That science, that is. So, today, Lee, we're going to be doing things with sound. Sound? Yes, we are sounding, you could say. I'm not putting anything down my urethra. <laughs> well done, I'm calling it the correct word. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know, um, I could have gone horribly wrong. Yeah. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to be amplifying sound that we can make. Oh. Okay, so, we're going to be making some amplification device. Oh. So, you should have three cups. I do. Yes, you have three CUP. Three CUPs. 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 Yes, I have Sound three. Cups. Yeah. CUP. Yes. One. Two. Three. Welcome to Sesame Street, everybody. <laughs> um, what we're going to do is we're going to we, we need to make some incisions in them. Oh. Okay. That's serious. It is. This baby, this is serious. This is serious. serious. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is take one of your cups. Yes. And this is going to be your joining device. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to remove its bottom. Oh. Okay. Now I have a knife because oh. I can be trusted. You have scissors because you can't. And you want to keep it as intact as possible, but remove the, the bottom bit. The inner bit? The inner bottom bit, yeah. 
But leave the rim. Leave the rim. You need the rim for its strength. Oh, but just remove the bottom. Yes, just remove its bottom. Okay, and then tell me when you've done that. I have done it. Okay, so you may discard your bottom. Discard the bottom. Discard the bottom. Okay, now what you need to do is you need to make a slit in this one. The one that I've cut the hole in. The one you cut a hole in, the one is mm -hmm. now a tube. You need to cut a slit in that will fit your mobile phone. Okay. Fit? Will it fit? Oh! Does it fit? Yes, ish. Yes, so it fits it. So it's just so you can you can fit it in. Okay. Okay. Now what you want to do is on one of the other cups. Mm -hmm. You're not ready yet, are you? Oh, sorry, I'm just widening my gap. You're widening your hole. There. Okay. Okay. Now. Positioning this so the slit is on the up. Yes. Right, you need to put a, a hole in a cup to the side. A hole. Okay. So that you. So I'll show you on mine. So I'm going to pop my hole here. It doesn't have to be a big hole. It just has to be a hole. At the top. Just in the side, like this. Okay. Doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be a hole. And it needs to be smaller than the opening of your cup. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. And then your, on your third cup, you're going to do the same size hole. Okay. So, what I would suggest you do is if you put your third cup inside your second cup, mm hmm. And then use that as a guide. Ooh, it's magic. Well, it's not magic, it's science. Have you ever thought of doing a segment called That's Magic, that is? I have, but Paul Daniels' estate wouldn't let us. <laughs> that lovely Debbie McGee. What do you call her? The lovely Debbie McGee. Debbie McGee, yeah. Oh, who doing, they? Okay. Now we need to attach all three together. Okay. Okay. So you should have some some sticky tape. I do have some sticky tape. So all you're going to do is sticky tape to each end like that. So you're going to put your middle one with a slit against a hole on each end. And don't drop your tape like I just did. Like that? Where are the holes pointing? Yeah, so the holes have to match up with the holes. What holes? So the hole you've got in your second cup... Yes. ...needs to match up with the opening of your first cup. Like that, yes. OK. OK, so your hole should line up. Does your hole line up, Lee? Yeah, I think. Ish. Yeah. OK. So you do that on, on either side? Do that on either side. Now, it needs to be quite stable. So make sure you've got enough tape on it so it's not very flimsy. Have I done it right? Let me see. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Where does the third cup go? On the other side. But there's no hole on the other side. Yeah, there is. Because you've cut the bottom off the cup. Oh, right, yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, I've lost the end. Lost the plot. Because what happens is sound moves in waves. And when a wave hits a solid surface, it vibrates. Does it? Yeah. So it's like, you know when you stand at the top of a cliff? 
Yes. Thinking about whether to jump off. Um, and you, you make an echo by shouting. Yes. That's pretty much what we've done here. Okay. Homemade echo chamber. You've lost the end of your cell tape, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. And then I can't get the middle bit out. I can't even get my f fat sausage off. No! <laughs> oh, I've taken it out. It's okay. Doo -doo. Come on. Right. Okay. Right, okay. So that's not what I asked us to do. So if you have a look at mine, got two pieces for, so the sides, you see how yours is looking more of a J shape rather than a, a, a U shape. So it should look like that. Okay. I've done it. But... Okay, of course you have. So your slit is at the top. Yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now if you put your phone in while it's playing music, it will get louder. Okay. Okay. Hold it in the microphone. Will it get louder? Absolutely no difference. Well, you, you can't tell the difference because you've got an earpiece in things. But if you're standing in direction of the, the, the speakers, you hear it. Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's try some copyright free EDM hey, music. Summer sale is here. Great deal on Android phones. <laughs> Okay, so so pop it. It's actually <laughs> See, I told you it gets louder. Let's have a rave. Let's not. And um, that's science that is. Science, that is. So it actually works. You weren't expecting that to work, were no, you? No, I can see. I can see ch people, parents who, whose children say, can I have an expensive sound bar? Sound bar for Christmas. Just like do that. Three cups. Three cups, be on it. Wrap it up. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Sad children, all on Christmas Day. But what I've also done there is I've, I've destroyed, like, picnics, because now I've heard, oh, no, I've left some speaker at home. Oh. Everybody's sigh of relief around. Now, wrap my bitch up coming out then. You, yeah? Yeah. And also, it's a bra. Not for you. I filled that. Yeah, with one nipple. <laughs> well, that's almost the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And, of course, on YouTube and podcast services, just search for Chewing The Cud. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. You need both, really, for your bosoms. That's more like a bra for you.